Hello everyone, welcome back to Gyanway. So my name is Akshay Khandelwal and we are going through the series of GATE 2017 Chemical Engineering Solution. So today's agenda is solving the question for thermodynamics, solving the question of thermodynamics. So the first question is the volumetric properties of two gases M and N are described by the degeneralized compressibility chart which expresses the compressibility factor Z as a function of reduced pressure and reduced temperature only. The operating pressure is and temperature T of both gas and M along with the uh, critical properties are given in the table and Zm and Zn are the compressibility factor for the gas M and N under which operating conditions uh, respectively under the given operating conditions respectively. The relation between Zm and Zn is so we have to find the relation between Zm and Zn. So this was very simple question. It looks to be very hard, but it was uh, a direct question. You can say if uh, when we will find when we will find the reduced pressure Pr and Tr. What is the formula of reduced pressure? Pressure upon critical pressure and reduced temperature is temperature upon critical temperature. So when we will find the reduced pressure P upon PC, so it will be 20 uh, for the for the gas M for the gas M, the reduced pressure will come out as 25 upon 75. This will be equals to 1 by 3. And for gas N, reduced pressure will be 75 upon 225. So this will be again 1 by 3. So reduced pressure is same for both the gases. So now reduced temperature T upon Tc. So T upon Tc for gas M will be 300 upon 150. So this will be equals to 2. And for gas N will be equals to 1000 upon 500 which will be again equals to 2. So we can see critical temperature and critical uh, reduced temperature and reduced pressure for both the gases are same. So with the uh, and it is given that it, these are given in generalized compressibility chart. So when we we know the theorem of, uh, theorem of corresponding state, the theorem of corresponding state says that when the gases have same reduced temperature and same reduced pressure then they behave in the they, then they have the same compressibility factor also so when they have same reduced temperature and same reduced pressure the gases have same compressibility factor and all deviate from the ideal gas by the same degree so uh, the theorem itself says when the gases have same reduced temperature and same reduced pressure it has same critical uh, same compressibility factor also so answer for this question will be zm equals to zn so answer will be equals to c so this was a direct equation so now coming to the next question the next question is water is heated at atmospheric pressure from 40 degrees celsius to 80 degrees celsius using two different process this is important two different process in process one heating is done by source as 80 degrees celsius and in process two the water is heated from 40 to 60 degrees celsius by the sources uh, source at 60 degrees celsius and then from 60 degrees celsius to 80 degrees celsius by another source at 80 degrees celsius so now first option is given as enthalpy change of water in process 1 is greater than enthalpy change of process 2 this question and second option is enthalpy change of water in process 2 is greater than enthalpy change of process 1 so these two uh, can be discussed these two options are not correct because uh, uh, we know that enthalpy enthalpy does not depends on path enthalpy is a state function so it depends only the initial temperature and final temperature it doesn't uh, follow the path it doesn't depend on the path so these uh, two uh, can be neglected uh, can be uh, uh, discarded so now third option is process one is closer to the reversibility or process two is closer to reversibility so we have to find which process is closer to the re uh, reversibility so this is the simple concept that when when a process 
when a process occurs in uh, in different steps then the process which is happening in steps are more closer to the reversibility than the process happening in one single step so as many the steps will be there as many small steps will be there the process will be more towards the reversibility so answer for this question is second uh, uh, second process so the option is d the process 2 is closer to reversibility so now the next question is the pressure of liquid is increased isothermally the molar volume of liquid decreases from 50.45 to this uh, during this process the isothermal compressibility is given uh, which can be assumed to be independent of the process so now we have to find the change in the molar gas free energy of the liquid so we have to find the change in the molar gas free energy of the liquid so uh, we know that isothermal compressibility is minus 1 upon v minus 1 upon v dv up del v upon del p at constant temperature t so now this is a very important formula delta g is equals to vdp equals to minus rt ln phi this is the important formula students should by heart this formula delta g is equals to vdp minus rt ln phi so uh, we know that here it is given that uh, k isothermal compressibility is equals to 10 raised to power minus 9 so minus 1 upon v del v upon del p at constant temperature t is equals to 10 to the power minus 9 so with this we can find del v del v uh, will be equals to del v upon 10 raised to power minus 9 or here will be minus will be equals to v d p v del p so now when we will substitute this into this equation so then del g will be equals to now we will substitute the v del p so v del p will be equals to minus del v upon 10 to the power minus 9 so delta g will be equals to minus del v so 50.45 min, uh, minus 48 into 10 raised to uh, uh, into 10 raised to power minus 6 upon 10 raised to power minus 9 so when we will solve this equation then we will get delta g equals to 2450 so 2450 is the correct answer for this question so the next question is a sparingly sparingly soluble gas is in in, in equilibrium with the solvent at 10 bar the mole fraction of the solvent in the gas phase is 0.01 at the operating temperature and pressure the phagocytic coefficient of the solute in gas phase and Henry uh, constant are given uh, assume that the liquid phase always Henry law the mole fraction of the solute in the liquid phase rounded up to two decimal places so we have to find the mole fraction of the solute and we have given the soluble uh, sparingly soluble gas with solvent at 10 bar and uh, solvent in the gas phase is given 0.01 and uh, temperature and phagocytic coefficient uh, are uh, tem operating temperature and phagocytic coefficient uh, uh, in the gas phase and Henry law constant are given here and uh, uh, we have to find the mole percentage of solute in the liquid phase so the formula for the Henry law Henry law is given uh, by this equation phi i y i p equals to x i h i so this was also a direct question x i will be equals to phi i y i p upon h i so now here it is given that solvent in a gas phase is 0 0.01 so gas yi will be equals to 1 minus 0 0.01 so which will be equals to 0 0.99 so now putting the values we have been given phi i phi i is given as 0 0.92 and yi is given as yi is given as uh, we have found uh, we found the yi right just now 99 0 0.99 and pressure is given as 1000 bar 
सॉरी दिस इज हेनरी इज और दिस इज हेनरी लॉ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर इज गिवन एज टेन बार एंड हेनरी लॉ कॉन्स्टेंट इज वन थाउजेंड बार सो नाउ वेन वी विल सॉल्व दिस देन वी विल गेट दी एक्स आई इक्वल्स टू एक्स आई वी विल गेट एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो नाइन वन जीरो एट सो इन परसेंटेज वी विल गेट एक्स आई इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन जीरो एट सो सो द मोलर परसेंटेज मोल परसेंटेज ऑफ द गैस सॉल्यूट ऑफ द सॉल्यूट इन लिक्विड फेज केम आउट टू बी एस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन जीरो एट सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर नाउ so the next question is the vapor pressure of the pure substance at a temperature t is 30 bar the actual and ideal values of g upon rt for the saturated vapor at this temperature t and 30 bar are 7 and 7.7 respectively here g is given as molar gas free energy r is universal gas constant and we have to find the fugacity of saturated liquid at these condition so we know this formula gr equals to g minus g ideal and delta g is equals to rt ln phi so when we will divide this formula with rt then we will get delta gr by rt equals to g upon rt minus g ideal upon rt so in this question we have been given this uh, this g upon rt value and g ideal upon, uh, upon rt so g upon rt is given as 7 minus 7.7 so when we will solve this we will get minus 0.7 so delta g up r upon rt we got as minus 0.7 so now when we will put this in this equation so delta g upon rt equals to ln phi so minus 0.7 equals to ln phi or exponential of minus 0.7 equals to phi and we know that phi is equals to f upon fugacity upon pressure so now we have to find the fugacity the fugacity will come as pressure into exponential of Minus zero point seven. So now, simply when we will put the value of pressure, which is given as thirty bar into exponential minus zero point seven, we will get fugacity value as fourteen point eight bar. So this is the final answer: fourteen point eight bar. Fourteen point eight bar. so the next question is the reversible reaction t butyl alcohol and ethanol to t uh, to ethyl t butyl ether is so we have been given with this reaction the equilibrium constant for this reaction kc is equals to 1 and initially 74 gram of tba is mixed with 100 gram of aqueous solution containing 46 weight percent ethanol Mol molecular weight for all these sub say components are given the mass we have to find the mass of etb at equilibrium so uh so now at equilibrium x will be x of tba mole fraction of tba is equals to initially initially at initially x of tba is equals to mass upon molar mass so mass is 74 molecular mass is 74 so 74 upon 74 which will be equals to 1 and x of et uh, etoh etoh equals to so it is given 100 gram of aqueous solution containing 46 weight percent ethanol so 100 gram of aqueous solution contains 46% ethanol so 46% ethanol means mass of ethanol will be 46 and molecular weight of ethanol is also given 46 so 46 upon 46 equals to 1 and now x of e t b e we have to find in this question and x of water is equals to uh, is equal to so 100 g 100 g of aqueous solution aqueous solution contain 46% ethanol so rest of it will be water so water will be equals to 100 minus 46 equals to 54 so 54 upon 
मोलिकुलर वेट एटीन इक्वल टू थ्री सो ना मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ वाटर केम टू बी एस थ्री सो इनिशियली इनिशियली टी बी ए वॉज वन ई टी ओ एच वॉज वन ई टी बी वॉज जीरो एंड वाटर वॉज प्रेजेंट एज थ्री सो आफ्टर द रिएक्शन एट इक्म इट विल बी वन माइनस एक्स वन माइनस एक्स एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स सो ना के सी विल बी इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट अपॉन रिएक्टेंट सो इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस एक्स इन टू एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स इन टू वन माइनस एक्स सो दिस विल बी के सी इज गिवन एज वन सो ना वन इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस एक्स इन टू थ्री प्लस एक्स इन टू एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स होल स्क्वायर सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर सो ना वेन वी विल सॉल्व वेन वी विल सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन वी विल गेट द आंसर एस जीरो पॉइंट टू सो द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सो दैट्स इट for for today that's it for thermodynamics part for more such informative video you can subscribe our channel and in case of any doubt or any clarity or any clarification you can contact us through our facebook page also and we also have our facebook group uh, which is basically the discussion group gyanve so you can like that also for any notification you can like that page also thank you thank you very much